Good morning kids, today we're checking out a brand new video from Outside Xbox about 7 boss fights you can win before you even start them, Commodore Edition. Let's hop in. Most boss fights are by design challenging affairs, but as we discovered in a recent video, some of them can be bypassed entirely before they even start. Thanks for coming, boss. Don't let the door hit you in the butt on the way out. <laughs> this is something you, the wily outside Xbox audience, have noticed as well. Alright, let's, let's see it. We've had loads of comments with even more bosses you can own before they've even had a chance to power up their cheaty unblockable attacks. Watch on to see how it's done in these seven boss fights you can win before they even start. Thanks Comment for your suggestions edition. and do beware spoilers for the following games. Spoilers! Undertale. Oblivion. Deus Ex. Outer World, Resident Evil, Breath of the Wild, Baldur's Gate 3. Oh, is that it? Hmm, okay. Stingy human hates spider. Ask anyone what the hardest boss fight in Undertale is, and they'll say, well, they'll say Sans, because come on, oh, it's yeah. ridiculous. Amazing music, but damn is he tough to fight. Ask anyone what the second hardest boss fight in Undertale is though, and you'll hear plenty of votes for Muffet, the baked goods loving spider you encounter in Hotland. Who well, actually, uh, you know what, Let, let's just keep going on, I don't got all day. Runs an exorbitantly overpriced bake sale. Oh, damn that's a lot. And then gets mad at you for not buying anything from her bake sale. No, I'm broke. And then tries really hard to kill you with an endless barrage of spiders, eyeballs, and croissants. <laughs> I like when how it walks a like a boomerang. Run or a pacifist run, for this fight, you're tied up in a web, and there's only one way of defeating Muffet. You simply have to endure her onslaught of attacks for long enough for a spider to deliver a telegram explaining that you aren't an enemy to the spiders. At this point, Muffet will change her mind about killing you and decide to spare you instead, such as the mercy of arachnid patissiers. Ah, oh, thank God. Yeah, However, if you're a trouble. tiny pastry investor, you can skip this brutal boss fight easily. If you're super wealthy, you can buy something from Muffet's super overpriced bake sale, an act of spider generosity so appreciated that instead of attacking you, she'll send you on your way with her thanks. Ah! Or you can go to the much, much cheaper spider bake sale located in the ruins earlier in the game, buy something mm -hmm. there, and then eat it as soon as possible after meeting Muffet. Spider Donna. Huh. Muffet will initially think you stole it, but thank god for the spider telegram network because she soon gets a message from the other spiders explaining the situation. And then the boss <laughs> fight is Turn over before one. you even get underway, all thanks to your love of spider donuts. <laughs> Are they donuts shaped like spiders, made by spiders, or made from spiders? Second know, option. Frankly, it's probably better if it stays that way. Actually, it probably would be amazing if it was the first and second option. Sounds tasty. Hail, friend. I don't believe I've ever seen you down here in the, the blood The Grey Prince. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Agranach Gromolag. Um, Most people just call me the Grey Prince. It's kind of silly, I know. Oh, okay. <laughs> the people of Cyrodiil need heroes. I'm more than happy to oblige. If you want to That's earn respect good. in the Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion, the best way to do it is to kill the Emperor as soon as you start the game, so everybody knows you mean business. Damn. Oh. Ah. Talos preserve us. For the Emperor! Ah. Oh, shit. Oh, right, the game doesn't actually let you do that, so instead I'd say the best way to earn respect is in the arena the gladiatorial coliseum in the imperial city where you can win money, prestige, and unsolicited nicknames such as Myrmidon and Pit Dog. Welcome to the arena, oh. you filthy pit dog. Well, that's well, never going to catch on. Asshole. Well, that's me showing. There are eight <laughs> fights in total, and to finish the quest line, you have to finish 24 fights, and then, in an epic final boss fight, defeat Agronat Gromolog, a.k.a. the Grey Prince, the fearsome half-orc grand champion yeah. of the arena. <laughs> Humans are all the same. As you can imagine, defeating someone who is champion of a brutal arena kumite and spends all his time training in murder is no easy feat. Which the feet is home. it's a much better idea to instead undermine everything the Grey Prince knows about himself to the point where he gives up and begs for death. 
If you take the time Damn. to chat to the prince, you'll discover that he believes he's the son of a noble lord who has been denied his birthright. I am a lord's son, yet I've been denied the noble privilege to which I'm entitled. So I have Are become you? the Grey Prince, noble in my own right. He asks you to find proof of his noble provenance so he can show everyone that orcs can be noble too. So off you pop to the fortress of Lord Leviticus. Die, you skeletons. Can find the journal of Lord Leviticus, which reveals that he, the Grey Prince's father, was actually a vampire, making the Grey Prince half vampire. Oh, well damn. The dude called Lord Leviticus turned out to be a vampire. Well, I never. Drop this Maury Povich style parentage I'm bombshell sorry, man. the prince and he'll be devastated at his monstrous origins. I'm no grey prince. I'm the spawn of evil. I thought my father was a nobleman, not some blood-sucking monster. I, ca I can't... Uh, all a lie. A lie. Hey, sorry, man. The is so devastated, in fact, oh, that he damn. won't attack you in your final fight, leaving himself completely defenseless, even asking you to hit him again. Hit me again. That, that, that felt sad. And so you can end the Grey Prince and become Arena Champion with ease. Now, what do I get for being Arena Champion? Something good, I expect. Wow. You're the Grand Champion. I saw your fight against the Grey Prince. You're the best. Can I, can I follow you around? I won't get in the way. Oh, you Who's this ginger Jimmy, Jimmy Neutron looking man? Oh, hold on. We'll be right back. And we're back. Yeah, Anna Navarra. I think she and Gunther are upstairs in the break room. Anna Navarra and, and Gunther Hallman. A real piece of work. They use sex. Maybe you should compare notes before the operation. You never know. She might go easier on you. In the original Deus Ex, you play as J.C. Denton, an agent of the United Nations Anti-Terrorist Coalition, or UNATCO for short. UNATCO? J.C. Denton is also huh. cybernetically augmented, giving him powers and abilities beyond those of most normal humans, although he barely ever mentions it. My vision is augmented. The other two characters in this <laughs> scene are Anna Navarra and Gunther Herman, two fellow UNATCO agents who start out as your allies and have strong opinions about soft drinks. Your hand might have slipped. No, I wanted orange. It gave me lemon lime. The machine would not make a mistake. It's Good the defense man. He knows I like orange. However, as the game progresses, JC defects from Unatco and finds himself at odds with both Anna and Gunther, leading to eventual boss fights with both of them, made tough by Anna's ability to turn invisible. Whoa. And Gunther's ability to flamethrower. Oh shit! Wasn't expecting that! If you prefer not to get your hands dirty, you can instead stop these boss fights before they even start through some devious subterfuge. It turns oh, out that boy. as a failsafe, both Anna and Gunther have been fitted with kill codes. Phrases that, if said in their presence, kill them instantly. Mine is, I'm sorry the McFlurry machine is out of order. Inquisitive Again? players who leave no stone unturned can discover Anna's phrase, Flatlander woman, in various computer files. You Dendons sure hung us out to dry. And if you make the right choices, your UNATCO contact, Jaime Reyes, will give you Gunther's kill code. Well, here's some gold clearance information for you. Dug it out of classified medical records huh. before I left. Gunther's kill phrase is La Putin Machine. La Putin Machine? La Putin Machine. Easy enough. Then all you oh, have to do is okay. say those words out loud and you'll skip the boss fights. With the extra bonus... Take your best shot, Flatlander woman. How did you know? And dead. That may explode hilarious. God! Your Unatco kill phrase. The Putin machine. I am not a machine. Sticks and stones. Yeah! Oh god. I mean, I know they're evil and everything, but honestly, Damn. Unatco, 10 out of 10. No notes. This prison is equipped with an auto mechanical warden. Ram. I've had it programmed to eliminate you on site and rinse your remains down a drain. By far the hardest thing you'll fight in Obsidian's spacey RPG The Outer Worlds is also the closest thing it has to a final boss, a robot prison warden that goes by the name of the Riot Auto Mechanical, or Ram for short. Hmm, okay. Whoa. Ram is essentially a mechanized riot cop armed with a super powerful cannon, tons of health, and a large shield it can use to soak up as much damage as you oh, and your companions damn. can throw at it. And no, going ah while you fire at things doesn't make your bullets do more damage, sadly. <laughs> Luckily for you, there is a way past this mechanized menace that doesn't involve having to fight it, but it does involve you being unfathomably brainy. 
That's because there's a terminal in the room next to the entrance to Ram's boss chamber oh. that you can hack into to discover a few useful sounding options. If you're level 100 in hacking, you can access the Ram override menu, at which point you'll trigger a three-part authentication system that you'll need to be a veritable Nobel Prize winner to make it through. First of all, you'll need to pass right, a level 100 us. hack check to bypass the first password, then a level 100 engineering check to flag Ram's thrusters as overheating, and finally, a level 100 science check to load double C batteries into Ram's quadruple Z battery charger. Which, ah. I don't know what that is, but it sounds uncomfortable. Okay. Accomplish all three of those things and Ram will topple over dead, letting you stroll into its boss fight room at your leisure and retrieve the hibernation chamber key you need to finish the game without a single bullet being fired. There's probably a moral well. here about brains being more important than brawn, but I did kill about 2,000 people on my way over here, so probably evens out. Yeah. There yeah. Only three you think so? Members left now. Captain Wesker, and 42. Barry, and myself. Mm. We don't know where Chris is. Everything in the Spencer Mansion from Resident Evil is trying to kill you. Zombies. Dogs. Crows. The mansion itself sometimes. Wesker! Barry! Help! So it should come as no surprise to find out that the foliage is oh, out this to is get on the you remake as well. as well. Something that becomes apparent when you head into the house's grounds to discover the residence. A collection of outbuildings harboring staff quarters, hmm. a shark tank, and a mean oh, piece God. of vegetation called Plant 42. Is it spitting at Plant you? Plant 42 is some sort of plant that was injected with the T-virus, turning it into a tendril-lashing, acid-spitting, flesh-hungry nightmare that your STARS members are going to have to fight if they want the key lying hmm. in the fireplace in the room it's currently inhabiting. Oh, damn. Oh, and there it goes. This is not an overly taxing fight. Plant 42 does still take a bunch of ammo to put down, and its acid attack and tendril whips can put a fair dent in your health which is why it's a much better idea to just take care of this thing before even walking through the door. The way you do that is How by so? mixing up a batch of a special chemical called V-Jolt, proven in clinical trials to absolutely wreck Plant 42's oh. To do this, you <laughs> need to collect all its component chemicals, mix them together in the right way, and then pour them on the plant's roots. This causes the roots to wither so that when you head into the room to start the boss fight, the plant shrivels up for about four seconds before grabbing you. So another world beating umbrella product, everyone. Oh, whoa. But then in this situation, and only this situation, oh. Barry comes in with a flamethrower and kills Plant 42 for you. So it's fine. Thanks, Barry. Hmm. I guess that's a good thing. No, we've been over this battery. All you had to do was spend ages mixing Screaming does not help. Ventilated room. Oh, and by the way, this doesn't work for Chris because he's dumb as a box of rocks and unable to mix chemicals even with step-by-step -step instructions. It's just like oh, that incident on. with the home hair dye that we shall never speak of again. The only way Chris can do this is to let Richard die to the attic snake and then throw the book containing the instructions for V-Jolt to Rebecca who you then control to mix up a batch while Chris gets menaced off screen by a tendril for what has to be the best part of 15 minutes. Chris! Rebecca! It's no use! The roots are in the basement! You can... No! That's a big Take book! That file. And he just gave Rebecca the book so he doesn't even have anything to read. Right there. When the Blight Ganon. You hm. are the light. Our light. Okay, how it do you beat this thing so easily? Once again. In The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, it's possible to go straight to the final boss as soon as you leave the tutorial area. Yeah. Possible, not sensible. The way you're supposed to play the game is to go around you defeating the four divine beasts, animal-themed dungeons with an elemental-themed Ganon boss at the end of each one. If you don't beat these dungeons and fight these bosses, those bosses will instead be waiting for you in Hyrule Castle, where you fight Calamity Ganon himself. Turning this so battle take down the into dungeons. a boss rush of epic proportions that's going to make facing your nemesis much, much harder. And lastly... Thunderblight Ganon. 
The good news for fans of not getting killed is that you can skip the first of these bosses, the Airy Wind Blight Ganon, super easily and before the fight even starts. All oh, you okay. need to do is chow down on some attack boosting food, jump and loose off an airborne arrow and then land, activating the boss's cutscene before the arrow hits the wall. Now, thanks to a glitch, oh. the arrow is right in the middle of Wind Blight Ganon, causing damage the entire time this cutscene is playing out, so that when it ends... Ooh. Look at his head. Wind Blight Ganon just keels over and dies. Sure, there are other bosses to come, but you just made things considerably easier. So It'd that's how you do it. if you'd stop to put something on other than just your underwear. <laughs> that's speed running for you. I command you, corpse. Oh boy. Speak. Reveal truth to the absolute. Hmm. Wait, that's a mind flail. Nothing. Must be reading it wrong. Baldur's Gate 3 is a game that offers you a tremendous oh. amount of choice, even when... Hold on. why would you want to wake up a mind flare? Those things are freaking deadly. Right option is pretty obvious. For example, a very obviously bad idea to kiss this mind flare, yes? Get away from that thing. And yet, I can still do it. What a game. Warm, wet tentacles wrap themselves around your head. And for the first oh time my God. in your life, you're perfectly happy. Hmm, yes, he killed you. a bad idea. As such, there's a chance that some Baldur's Gate 3 players won't even encounter the early game mini-boss Draw Ragslin, a powerful hobgoblin who is one of the three goblin leaders you have to kill in the Shattered Sanctum. You're no true soul. You're a damned heretic. Oh, aren't we all? If you do encounter him though, be prepared for a grueling fight. As it's early in the game, you're still likely to be something of a neophyte, and Draw Ragslin is tough, hits hard, and is backed up by plenty of minions to keep you distracted while he wails on you. Here. Oh. If all this is proving too much, though, you can easily end this boss fight before it even starts. With the right persuasive skills, you can convince the goblins that you're allowed to be inside the Shattered Sanctum and can come and go as you please. Right. Well, you ain't the first foreign type. I suppose. Now, if you want to get Ragsan out of the <laughs> way, suppose. first you must pick your strongest character and send them into his throne room. You will need to smash his throne so that he goes and stands in the right place, but it seems that Ragslin is the forgiving type. You have a convincing air of innocence about you. Finally, with everything mm. in place, all you have to do is walk up to him and shove him down a massive hole. You can't be serious. Is it really that easy? <laughs> no more draw Ragslin. Sure, that'll aggro everyone in the room on your remaining party member, oh, damn. but the noble sacrifice won't be forgotten. You literally also, just shoved them into a hole. that's why we have withers. This is the price of balance. 200 gold to not have to do that boss fight? Sounds like a bargain. If only every boss Definitely. could stand next to a big hole. Rise. Oh, what the? Thank you so much for watching well, all the way okay. through this video without skipping, which I assume you did. You naughty YouTube viewers, you. Uh, if you would like to watch another video uh, without skipping through it, we have one from us up here and one from our sister channel, Outside Extra, down here. Right, I'm off to go and get a McFlurry. Hope the machine isn't out of order. <laughs> well, anyway, folks, that's going to be the end of today's video. I hope you all enjoyed this. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more. Link to the original will be in the description below, and I'll see all of you folks next time when we flick on. Peace out.